Hey, I'm Barry Schwartz. I figured I'd do a very quick video giving you a rundown of some of the Google news, the Google search news, the all new Google search engine that Google's testing, the Google search generative experience that incorporates generative AI to create answers um, right into the Google search interface. Again, it's a labs experiment, so you have to sign up for it and you'll be able to sign up at labs.google.com slash search. And it's a really interesting inter of interface. Um, you have the answers generated at the top it incorporates really, in a big way, actual publishers, content creators, SEOs, site owners, websites directly in the interface, which is great. There's a toggle to expand it. And all below that, there's actually the classic interface for search results, which is great. They also incorporated sponsored or Google Ads search ads in the listings that are labeled as sponsored. I believe this stuff is feeding in information real time, uh, just similar to how Big works. Uh, but we'll see. There's a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, Kathy Edwards demonstrated how this works on stage at the Google I.O. keynote. Um, and it's really, really cool. It uses a lot of features with including Mum um, and also POB2, which are, le are learning language models from Google. And it's constantly being updated. They incorporate the search quality raters to make sure this stuff works well and provides feedback to the models so that Google could actually go ahead and update those models going forward. Um, what's interesting is understanding when and how and why Google will show certain answers and when they won't. A lot of it has to do with the categories of YMYL. If the content or the query is too uh, you know, sensitive, Google might not go ahead and show the answer. If it's um, a response that maybe has information gaps or data voids, Google might not show the answers, as well as if the results aren't gonna generate quality or reliable information, Google won't show the results. How do they know this? They've been doing this for a long, long time in Google search directly, obviously with all their EEAT stuff, with all their quality algorithms, so they kind of know this stuff. And the answers that Google generates and these sites that Google shows have to be of the utmost top quality according to Google with a consensus around it. There was a whole concept around factual versus fluidity, um, and that's very interesting. Google doesn't want to provide a fluid response because it's people actually trust fluid responses, so they want to be more factual, which is very, very interesting. Um, there's no way to opt out of any uh, showing your ads on this interface. It's a very, it's a lab experiment right now, so again, it's pretty interesting. But I think overall, looking at this, I'm pleasantly surprised how Google is actually showcasing publishers' websites in the search results. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. After the Google bar large, I thought it'd be a lot less um, in your face, but Google, I think, is doing a good job with that. I'm surprised. I think you guys might be a little bit surprised by that in a, in a good way. Let me know in the comments what you think, um, and definitely make sure to subscribe and like this channel. Thank you so much. And more to come on the Search Engine Roundtable.